first before anything else, Pam Bondi, your take? I think Pam Bondi is an outstanding pick by President Trump to serve as the next attorney general. She's been a, a lawyer for decades. She was the Florida attorney general for eight years. She was Trump's impeachment attorney. She's bold. She's fearless. And she knows that she needs to go in there and make serious reforms to the Justice Department, particularly the FBI. Yeah, no, I agree with that. And, and, and she has the backbone to do it. But so Trump's been allowed to submit a motion to dismiss the, one of the trials. I mean, like, finally, I guess, right? Yeah, so Judge Juan Mershon, who sat on this case uh, for many, many, many months with a conflict of interest, his daughter got paid by Kamala's campaign, his daughter was raising money off of this case, requiring his recusal. Then the American people heard the so-called evidence and these allegations from these various Democrat operatives in New York, D.C., and Atlanta, and the American people rendered our verdict on November 5th and put President Trump back in the White House instead of Rikers Island. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. But here's the thing. We played your soundbite before the break about going after Letitia James. Look, this is a woman that is vindictive, I believe, acting way outside the bounds. I'm not a lawyer, but way outside the bounds of what she should be doing or is even allowed to be doing. And you said straight up, like, we'll put your behind in jail if you continue to play these stupid games. Well, I would say this. Look, is she not... Did she not recognize what happened on November 5th? Is she an election denier? Did she not see the American people want this lawfare to end? And it seems like all these other Democrat operatives like Jack Smith and Alvin Bragg and Fannie Willis are cutting bait and running away. But, uh, you know, Tish James doubled down. She gave this shocking press conference the day after the election saying, essentially, elections be damned. The, the American people got this wrong, and I'm going to go after President Trump. That just can't happen. Right. Well, but that's the problem. We, ha we have a justice system now, which, depending on which side you are on, some of these people take it to the nth degree. But look, he's been dragged through. I mean, who knows how many dollars he's spent on legal fees. He's had fines. He's had penalties. They took him off the campaign trail and sit in that stupid frozen courtroom forever. I mean, look, you know, at some point, there has to be a reckoning for this. And you think with someone like Pam Bondi in there, she's going to be able to, like, like, what charges would she bring in the first place? Because I don't even know. But what is the path to actually bringing some of these people to their knees to heal back to the rule of law? Look, there has to be accountability for this republic ending lawfare and election interference against President Trump. They tried to bankrupt him. They tried to throw him in prison for the rest of his life. They tried to take him off the ballot. They tried to take off his head when they underfunded his Secret Service protection. And what Pam Bondi should do is open up a criminal probe under 18 U.S.C. Section 241, conspiracy against rights. Jack Smith is very aware of this charge. That's one of the charges, uh, one of his four charges against President Trump for, for President Trump's non-crime of objecting to a presidential election. I would say to these Democrat operatives, uh, they should probably lawyer up because nobody's above the law. That's what they say anyway. Yeah, and, and let's let's have like a very frank conversation here. What are the odds this actually happens and people's you know people actually start ending up in some bracelets? Well, that's a good question. I think you can open up this probe in the Southern District of Florida because that's where they did the Mar-a-Lago raid, and you can bring in all these Democrat lawyers, prosecutors, operatives in before the grand jury, and if they do, if they've done nothing wrong, they have nothing to worry about. Well, that was always a thing. It was like, oh, no, no, Trump's done nothing wrong. He'll have his time in court. Yeah, yeah $20 million later. Um, does, can he, is there any way for him to recoup any of this money whatsoever? Yeah, there is. And there's a civil justice fund at the Justice Department, and he should absolutely uh, seek, seek some of this money back because this is obviously a coordinated political hit on President Trump by Joe Biden. His fingerprints are on all four of these unprecedented criminal indictments. This is a criminal conspiracy, and there must be severe legal, political, and financial consequences. Yeah. So this never happens again. Yeah, and right now there's a shredder parked outside the Justice Department, so we'll see if we can get some of the news to that. Mike, appreciate it very much. Always a pleasure, my man. Thank you. All right. Can you believe that, folks, that this is actually happening in our republic right now? We have to deal with this kind of stuff. We get